Oh, let's get spooky! Hello everyone, welcome to Food Review UK and the first Halloween instalment of the year. We're hoping to be reviewing some awesome stuff this Halloween. Uh, I suspect it might, we might be a little lighter on Halloween videos this year simply because there's not many companies doing Halloween stuff. Uh, but one person doing Halloween stuff is New Foods UK. You might know New Foods UK from Instagram. He is, I think it's fair to say now, he's the biggest um, sort of I don't even know what to call the genre that we sort of sit in as well. Uh, it's like new UK food products and slash world stuff. So he posts pictures of new food products, interesting food products, food creations, all that sort of thing on Instagram. And he's usually, uh, if not one of, then usually the first to get stuff up. So if you want food news, go and check him out. Uh, new Foods UK. And he sent me this box, so thank you very much. Uh, and this is the Halloween box. So he does these uh, sort of uh, one-off food boxes that you can buy and it's like a surprise of what you get inside. Um, the Halloween one, I'm uploading this on Sunday and the Halloween box goes up on Monday. So you will be able to go over to his Instagram and order it, message him about it. Um, but if you do miss out on the Halloween one, he is doing a Christmas one too. So I, I gave this a tiny little peek at work just because I couldn't wait. But uh, I didn't. I didn't have a big route around, so I know one or two of the things in here. But let's have a look. So, first of all, there we've got the business card. I have shown the the details on screen anyway. Uh, right. So we have got very berry nerds rope. Oh, nerds. My uh, voice is breaking. Uh, I'll try. As with all the box reviews that I do, I'll, I'll try a few of these products. Uh, I think we have done a review of the nerds rope but not the very, very variety. It's actually really nice. Uh, that was one of the reviews that we did at Thorpe Park. Me and Peeps did that a few years ago. Then we got a Monster Mallows Halloween mix. Oh my, I'm using a different camera because the lighting's low. So I won't be able to get super, um, oh, actually I can get super close ups. Hang on, right. This next product is obviously a Jaffa Cake one. Jaffa Cake, lemon and slime. Yeah. Then we've got a marshmallow uh, lollipop on a stick thing. That's what it's officially called. Then we've got a Cadbury cake bar, uh, ras spooky raspberry flavor. It doesn't actually say spooky raspberry flavor, but it does It, it does say raspberry and it's got like bloody sort of style pink stuff. Now these were reviewed last year. There's Round Trees Random's Spooky Mix. I think we reviewed, I'm sure we reviewed them last year. Because I, I was sat over there, pointless to say that, because I'm just pointing off screen. But I think I was dressed as some sort of vampire or something. Then we've got a weird eye candy thing. I've got my eye on you. No, it's weird. Got another, this, it's just, yeah, it's like a mallow and gummy. What is this? This is from... I can't see where it's from, but it's like a mallow gummy thing. Vanilla flavoured mallow with fruit flavoured jelly candy. Then we've got a few sort of loose foil wrapped things. A jack o' lantern pumpkin chocolate ball. Uh, a hollow, these are minions, minions jack o' lantern thing. And a Halloween chocolate coin. I've literally never had a Halloween chocolate coin before. Wow, that was a massive fail. We have got a Choco Lolly. We've got a couple of bags of Skittles Dark Side. I think I've reviewed these. We've got, I'm not 100% certain I even knew this existed, to be fair. Sour Apple Flavor Refreshers. It is Sour Apple, right? Yeah, Sour Apple. Interesting. We've got another, I should have shown this earlier, actually another Mallow, Halloween Mallow thing. Oh, I missed out a coin and another eye there. Oh, and another eye and a weird thing. Then we've got some popping candy uh, from the new, the new Adams Family movie. I've got cherry and apple. We've got another Cadbury cake. This is the honeycomb flavour mini roll. Or, sorry, bonfire log. Uh, a spooky Jaffa cake finger from Despicable Me. Minion! Banana. Freaky cake, but Jaffa cake's freaky cake bar. 
do love the brandings, uh, the brandings, do love the branding on these spooky Jaffa cake ones. I've got a, a finger or, yeah, bloody, bloody finger or something. Then we've got three Casper the Friendly Ghost candy sticks, pack, kits. Then we've got, oh, this is a Swizzles Matlow Fruity Pop. I'm guessing this is orange, but I don't actually know what flavour that is. Yeah, it's like a Halloween Fruity Pops. And we've got a, this one is a drumstick. Doesn't say what flavour it is, but it is in an orange and black packet. And penultimately, we've got a Cadbury Goo Head. That is not focusing. There we go. It's a grimacing person or thing of some description. Vampire, probably. And finally, Haribo Tang Fast Tricks Super Sour or Tangy Halloween Edition. Right, so like I say, guys, I'm just going to try a few of these right now. I'm going to try the Jaffa Cakes Freaky Cake Bar. Oh, God, I ache. Just been for a run. Go check out my weight loss journey on Theme Park Life, my vlog channel. Mm. Oh, oh, interesting. So the colour is purple sponge. And it's actually just a normal Jaff cake because it's just got orange cream. I'm pretty sure that I used to have Jaff cake cake bars when I was a kid. Um, and as I, I think it's only at this precise moment that I'm sort of realising that they are actually completely different to Jaffa Cakes. Because Jaffa Cakes have got those firm sponge, haven't they? Um, whereas this is like a soft cakey sponge. I, I like Jaffa Cakes actually. I always say I don't really like chocolate orange things that much. But I always really like them. Um, I don't think that's as good as a normal Jaffa Cake. But it is, it's nice, it's good. I'll give it a low four stars. Now, I definitely want to try the Cadbury Raspberry Flavor Cake Bar. So I don't even know what, I don't even know what this is. I don't know if it's got like a cream or something in it. Oh, smells good. That raspberry massively comes through in the smell. Oh. Wow. Wow. That is absolutely jam packed with flavor. No wonder you can smell that through the chocolate. Oh my God. That's incredible. I'm not even 100% sure I've even seen these. I don't remember seeing them. It might be because I just didn't think they were new or anything. And again, I assume they're new. I've definitely not had them before. That is really good. That is like a proper, proper strong, like almost raspberry sort of candy or like, like almost sorbet. It is so strong, a little bit creamy and it, it goes really well with the chocolate. Sometimes these cake bars, when they are flavoured, the chocolate totally dominates and it overpowers the rest of the flavours. But on that, the raspberry stands tall. Uh, I'm surprisingly impressed with that. I give that four stars. All right, I'm going to have one more little thing, one more little nibble. I'm going to have a nibble on this thing. These things tend to be a bit more of a gimmick than actually tasty. But I am, um, I have high hopes. The fact that it calls itself a vanilla flavour marshmallow. Oh, it smells really artificial, which is not a bad thing to me. Oh, it just smells really sweet. Oh, there we go. My stick felt like it was moving a bit then. Oh, let's give it a go. Mmm. Nice fluffy marshmallow. Pretty standard. Ooh. That's got a nice aftertaste, actually. Mmm. The vanilla actually comes through quite well, there. How much vanilla does it actually have in it? it just says flavourings as near as I can tell. So I'm not sure. And then any guesses for what this flavour is? They call it a fruit flavour. I'm hoping sort of black currant. Mmm. I feel like I'm... Oh! It's like black currant-y, black berry sort of vibes I'm getting from that. That is very much like... Um, like quite a, quite a springy, jumpy, chewy gum. It reminds me a lot of like old school wine gums, like your granny used to keep in a tin. I like my granny used to keep in a tin anyway. Let's have a nibble of both of them together. Yeah, that's actually good to be fair. Like I say, I normally find these things a bit of a gimmick and just like dry, nasty and horrible, but that is actually not bad at all. Nothing mind blowing of course, but I get a free stuff. 
Mmm. Decent. So, I hope you had a spooky time. Like I said, guys, go and check out New Foods UK. And look at this. You know, I, I knew exactly what it was when it came because of the cool jack-o'-lanterns. Uh, go and check out New Foods UK on Instagram. Great. I can forget the fact that he sells these boxes and whatnot. It's just a great Instagram account to follow. Um, but if you do want to buy these, hit, send him a message and hit him up. Thank you very much. Oh, tell him I sent you. Brilliant. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you're having a Halloween period of time, the happy spookiness. Weird. Goodbye.